do the damage he, he could be doing to this large medic marine army. And, I mean, he shouldn't be heading in here without the filers. I think that is a mistake on his point. And uh, apparently he did too as he got the filers there. And, oh my god, Scourge hovering over and doing nothing. And double defense matrix dropships going out. Talk about a tongue twister. Heading over. And the Lings do spot it. And, ooh, Spore Colony's hit it. But does not matter thanks to defense matrix. Again, right on the tech of Jadong. Jadong still with no protection. He sees it coming, but and an ultra popping out once again. Perfect timing, but I do not think that one ultra will be able to take out two dropships worth, especially being stuck like it is. And oh, it gets out, but not before taking about a thousand hits. Good scourging going on in the middle, but Jadong in a lot of trouble if he can't uh, protect his tech tree better than he is. He needs to get some sort of sunkens down or, or a couple of lurkers or something. He has not invested in a hydralist dead. And oh, that's, that hive is going to go down. And if that hive goes down... Oh my god. Oh my god. Jadong just lost his hive in the middle of the game. That is going to be horrible for Jadong. He is going lair right now, I'm sure. Having lost his tech tree, he's going to be way behind. I don't know if he's going to have to go switch his tech. Taking out one dropship again for the fourth time. Losing the mid right expansion. And Jadong, C doing a great job. I got, I got to say, I, I haven't said it enough yet. C is playing great. He's, he's keeping Jadong back on his heels, not allowing him to get to that critical mess of uh of expansions and and zergliness that he he's trying to get to and uh Jadon just not able to mass up a large enough force to deal with it at any time he's always got at any time say five or six ultras with a couple of control groups of lings with them he tries to head in and it's it's not even enough to take out the uh the medic marine force that that c sends out again what do we see six ultras not even a control group of lings and a defiler everything irradiated already What's going to happen here? Gee, I wonder. Swarm goes down. He's going to move out of Swarm. He's going to move out of Swarm again. And uh, Jadong just not able to do damage. He's got to start thinking about switching to Plague. Getting some uh, different tech out on the field. I mean, he's already committed to Ultra Link, So we're not going to see that disappear. But he is going to start starving himself out of uh, minerals. He's run out in his main base. And uh, he's, he's having a tough time scourging enough of the uh, SK Terran... Uh, science vessels that are being pumped continuously and plague oh my god that was a perfect plague he just got almost all of uh, C's units and, and seriously I don't know maybe I should be a coach Jadong is listening to me for once uh well, actually, Jadong's just being a smart player. And taking out that huge force now with no problem. I'd love to see a Muta out on the field. He does have a Spire. Where is he? Damn Muta. Jadon, come on. One hero Muta would take out all those science vessels in like three shots. <sighs> Jadon, Jadon, Jadon. You're, uh, you're, you're officially making me out of breath. I do not like being out of breath, Jadon. Please start playing smarter. And again... Uh, a couple of control groups of links with not even six uh, ultras this time. And see again, already a huge medic marine force. Jadung going to try and oh, ultra is getting. And oh, there are the Muta! The Muta come out! He listened to me once again! And every single science also goes down the entire cloud down! That was huge! That was a great job by Jadung. C completely out of position, but now C able to take out another expansion of Jadung, doing a good amount of damage in return. But the damage has been done by Jadung. And not to mention, C is mined out of about three bases going on his fourth at this point. He only has two bases mining. No, one base mining. I think he's only got one base mining. So C, economically, if anything, he's behind right now. Even with all those bases he has, he is behind. Jadong just put a bullet in his foot, hitting those science vessels. He's got to get another plague off. A couple more plagues. I do... Yes! Right on the science vessel. Nicely done. And a Dark Swarm before he loses that Defiler. The Dark Swarm, not going to do all that much. But it does afford him some uh, protection from all those Marines that we do not see any fire bats out at all for C. So uh, he's going to be very well protected there. It looks like uh, one of the defilers is going to go down, but not before doing the damage it needed to do. Jadon completely turning around the game in, in a matter of a minute. Less, actually. More like 30 seconds. Uh, no, all right. Uh, maybe a couple of minutes between getting that critical plague on every single unit of C's. No, probably was within a minute. And then getting out a couple of hero mutas to take out 
I think he took out six science vessels. And there we see the SEV Congo line going to the next base. And those Muta, ah, oh, he's going to lose those Muta. Oh, but those Scourge oh, look like they're going to catch two more science vessels out of position. And C doing a very poor job of microwing those vessels away from Scourge. Back down to two. So Jadong doing exactly what he needs to do. A lot of Scourge out on the field. Um, at this point, you don't want to try plaguing everything because it's just not worth it. Um, if he tries plaguing all those science vessels and takes out another science vessel. Very well done. Only one Radiant able to go off on these Ultras at this point. Firebats are out now. So C also listening to me. I know, they're not really listening to me. And another science vessel goes down. Jadong is apparently the science vessel killer at this point. He is the science vessel headhunter. I mean, uh, uh, talk about headshots. He's taken out 10 science vessels in a matter of two or three minutes. Critical in his success if he wins this game. And it looks like at this point, Jadong is going to scout uh, what C is trying to do, which is put up the island expansion, which frankly, I do not think is going to work out. All he needs is about one Muta to take that out. A science... Uh, uh, sorry, command center being built up to uh, float over there. So he's probably going to put some, uh, uh, whatchamacallits up, turrets. Oh, I'm sorry. That's actually top left. He's building that other command center. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where C is building that command center in the bottom middle from. He might turn it up first. And C uh, is being checked on by uh, by Jadong. Jadong <laughs> sending Scourge in to take out SEVs. Apparently, uh, no, he's probably going for the dropships, but uh, unable to find them at this point. Although those, those dropships going very close to the Scourge, closer than C would ever know, and Jadong for that matter. Uh, actually, C might know. And oh, Scourge flying right around, and the Muta are out. So a couple of Muta out, and oh, another Science Vessel goes down. That's 11. I am keeping track at this point. He, he might have lost some earlier, and I just don't remember, but he has lost 11 Science Vessels. 11. Nice surround by Jadong. Uh, I'd love to see a Dark Swarm. There we go. And a Plague. Perfect. Perfect move by Jadong. Seeing a lot of trouble at this point. He's got to get his macro back together. He's got to work on his micro as well. Losing way too many science vessels to Jadong's forces. Uh, getting hit by Plague a lot. Not much he can do about that so much. Scourge out. Uh, and oh, those uh, Muta able to just attack SEVs and uh, Command Center at will, and uh, Jadong trying to take out the uh, couple of dropships, but not able to do so, and just cleaning up the little bit of marines that are hanging out in the middle of the base, and Jadong, I, I don't know what happened, but he just had an epiphany of, oh, yeah, this is how I play ZVT, I remember now, and doing a fantastic job, um, we're going to see some Dark Swarm going down for sure on these uh, bunkers, if, if uh, he can ever get his Defiler in position to do so, taking him a long time, finally going down, uh, but not before doing the damage, most of the damage already with the Ultras, he is going to take out those Marines uh, at the bunker, and for whatever reason, C is not going to try to defend it. Uh, I'm a little surprised about this considering there are not many forces out there. Two Ultras and a couple of Lings for him to deal with. Instead, he's going to try to trade expansion for expansion, it seems. Of course, not losing his floating command centers. And oh man, a lot of Scourge landing on the dropship. Only three Marines going out. More damage being done to these floating units that C has all over the place. And more Scourge trying to get on those science vessels. And finally, C paying attention and microwing them back over his uh, his Marines, and he's back up to five science vessels already. So although he's losing as many as he is, doing a very good job of keeping them alive. And oh, one Scourge landing, but really those Muta... And play goes down on three of the science vessels. Very well done by Jadong. Uh, certainly a lot more work to be done, but this is exactly what he needs to be doing. Uh, again, I am very impressed by Jadong's turnaround and play. I mean, from the beginning, I was like, wow, Jadon's going to lose this. But now, he's very much in the game. And C is behind, most definitely. Mining only from one base and uh, gas from a bunch. So we're going to see a lot of science vessels for sure continuing to pump out of those. Uh... So he's got three gas and a lot of minerals. And Jadon, uh, it should be mentioned that Jadon has been mining from all of his bases for quite a while. And I'm sure he's in danger too at this point of being mined out. Here's the first person view of Jadon as we see his 450 to 500 APM at work. Um, 
Looks like another Plaga going down, according to the Korean commentator. Those That clump is just going to kill, uh, see if he keeps him that clumped up. He's got to be a little careful and try to spread him out a little bit, but not too much because he's got to be able to protect them all at once from Scourge. That can come at him from any angle. And now, uh, oh, Jadon taking the top left. A little ballsy there uh, with two command centers floating right above him. And C has to, C has to. Um, secure a couple more expansions. Actually, I think he is mining from two now. Yeah, he does have the bottom middle as the Korean commentators show exactly as I asked. And, uh, wow. That's two, four, six, eight science vessels out there. Maybe only seven. Maybe I miscounted. Nine at least with the two in the bottom middle.